In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the valves on this International 484. All right, first thing, uh, pull the valve cover off your tractor here, and we're gonna need to get it on top dead center. Uh, we'll start with the compression stroke. You can see down in here, uh, we got the pointer, balancer pointer right here. We just need to line it up with our zero mark which I got marked with a little bit of white paint. Uh, you'll have marked for 10 degrees and 20 degrees, but we need it on just the top dead center, zero degrees there. You'll be able to tell by the third valve back here is compressed. Third valve and sixth valve here, they're compressed down. That, that means you're on the compression stroke. You can tell these four will be loose. We'll be able to adjust one, two, four, and five. All you need is a feeler gauge. My book says that these valves should be set at 12 thousandths all of them intake and exhaust you can tell it's about double that right now so that's why i'm adjusting these valves what you want to do is unloosen this lock nut on your valve that way you can tighten the valves up you just stick your filler gauge right in here and all you want to do is tighten this down until you're snug not too tight i like to just do it where it's got a little tension on it when you're pulling it out and then all you'll have to do is hold your set screw with your screwdriver and you can tighten down your lock nut. Just like so. And then we can check it. Looks good. Slides in with just a little tension. So that's exactly what we want there. So with it on top dead center compression stroke, this is a D179 engine, three cylinder. So it'd be different on other engines but we'll be able to adjust uh, one, two, four, and five here. So let me go do that real quick. All right, I got all those valves set right. Uh, you just gotta take your time there because they will move a little bit when you're trying to tighten that lock nut down. So just keep checking them as you're doing it. We have two valves left. It's uh, this one here, the third one back and the sixth one back here. All we gotta do is turn the engine over. I usually just use the fan. You can just pull, pull the fan blade if your belt's tight enough. You can get it on that exhaust stroke. You can see there it's coming around right there. Now this third valve back should be loose and this last valve here. All right, now let's uh, adjust these two valves and we should be able to start it up. Recommend taking your time and just checking, checking that as much as you need to. Crank it down the rest of the way and we should be good. All right, recheck it there. That's good. Just snug. That filler gauge just goes in there snug. Just like that. Like we're ready to rock. I'm using this service manual here for this tractor. I picked it up off of Amazon. I'll link that down in the description below if you don't have a good manual. Got a lot of good information in there. All right, let's try to start it up with the valve cover off here. <laughs> guys it sounds good it sounds a lot better than it did before uh, adjusted those valves if this video helped you at all go ahead and hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching we'll see you next time